In this video, I want to show you how to set up and use the offline collection script feature. Now this is really useful when you want to do a proof of concept with a customer because you can run this script against their real ACI fabric, take the files that are output, bring them back home, and at your convenience, upload them into your own network assurance engine and be able to do an offline analysis. So there are some requirements. You need a device in order to run the script on. Now that device could be a virtual machine, it could be your laptop, it could be a server. We do have some operating system requirements that you see here, whether it's Linux, Mac OS, or what have you. You will also need to have Python 2.7.11. Now note that this is not the standard version that ships with these systems. So you're likely going to need to download this and compile it to get to version 2.7.11. You'll also need to have Python pip installed, and we strongly recommend that you run this in a virtual environment at runtime. Now, where do you get the script? The good news is, is the script comes embedded in your network assurance engine, and I'll show you in just a bit where you can click to download that. We also strongly suggest that you go through the readme file for the detailed instructions on how to set up all of the dependencies that I've spoken about so far. And once you've done that, all you have left to do is run the script. And I've given you an example of the command that you will run with all of the attributes that you need to send in order to have a successful result. Okay, so where do I go to get the actual script? Well, once you're logged into your network assurance engine, again, click on the gearbox and you'll see an option for download offline collection script. All you have to do is download it, unpack it, and copy the resulting files over to the device you will use to make the collection. Okay, once I've downloaded the script, I strongly suggest that you go through the readme file because it has detailed instructions about how to set up everything you need based on the operating system you have. This readme file is a wealth of information. Just go through it. It explains everything that you absolutely need to have ready to go before you show up at the customer. Okay, so I've gone ahead and set up a collection virtual machine where I've already installed uh, all of the dependencies and I've downloaded the script and I've got everything uh, ready to go. Um, so uh, if I do here, I, I've created a virtual environment already um, uh, that I'm going to use when I make my collection, but I just wanted to point out that if I check the version of Python that comes with the system, you'll see it's 2.7.6. Uh, but what, I, what I've done is I've downloaded and compiled the 2.7.11 version in, to use in my virtual environment. So what I first need to do is I need to activate that virtual environment by typing, by typing that command. And you can see my, my CLI changes to show you that I'm in that virtual environment. So now if I type Python minus V, you'll see that it is in fact running 2.7.11. So the next thing I need to do is go into where I've downloaded the candid, uh, uh, the candid offline collection script, and you can see it. Uh, here it is right here. Uh, there's the readme file. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, to launch our collection. So if you type Python and you tab out and you type minus H, you'll actually see the parameters that you're going to have to give uh, for this to be successful. Please do note that the parameter names are case sensitive. I learned that the hard way. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick off the script. Uh, I've given it the parameter of my APIC, my cluster name can be whatever you like, my candid user, that's the user that I have in ACI uh, that has uh, read-only access, and then I've called out a target directory of dot, which is basically just saying, uh, go ahead and uh, and save the uh, files that you collect in this very directory. So I'll go ahead and kick that off, uh, and it's going to then uh, prompt me for the password for the Candid account in ACI. And so I will type that in, and this is the kind of information you want to see. Uh, this is the script actually working. Uh, I'm not going to show you the whole script uh, running, but you're going to see a lot of information go by as the script uh, goes about its business. Then when this is all said and done, you'll see a nice uh, tarball file in that particular directory that you can then upload into your Candid engine and run an offline analysis and start getting the benefit of the product.